Hello everybody, Jerry with 3 dhp and look at all this amazing work I have here. What is this you say? This is filament painting. Yes, filament painting. And this was all done on my Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. The program is called QForge. All these that you see in front of you were done by Makers Community. I downloaded them for free off of printables.com. And I just want to show you some of this amazing work and then we'll get into where it came from and how you can do this yourself. These were all done on my Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon with the filament colors that I had on hand. I didn't have to go out and buy any special colors since I have quite a bit at the moment. And that's a beautiful print. Let's kind of go through and look at some of these here for a minute. T-Rex. These are very beautiful. Shockingly beautiful. Hummingbird. You can see the layers right there on the bone for the skull. And we have a beautiful owl. astronaut sunflower is amazing and then everybody loves puppies Puppy. Beautiful. And we got a wolf. Wolf head. And then I did two mechs, but they didn't come out so good. I'm only working with four colors here, and I don't really like the result on how these came out. And here's one in blue. But I've been watching some videos recently from Murph, the Midwest Rep Rep Festival, and I noticed on the tables that some of the people there had prints like this laying there, and I was curious, what is that? And then the next thing, I was watching a restream from Twitch, from Maker Deck, um, Pez Liz and Zombie Hedgehog had restreamed over on YouTube an interview with a designer of Hue Forge, and they were talking about the product and all that they could do with it. It's like, wow, that's amazing. So, uh, yeah, Murph and uh, Pez Liz and Zombie Hedgehog are it's kind of what inspired me to learn more about this. And let's jump into the website here and I'll show you a little bit more about it. Okay, here we are over at printables.com. First off, I want to go here and show you some of the work that I printed. And once you're on printables.com, you type in Hue Forge and it will pull up all the different 3D models that people have designed. And as you've seen uh, my prints there, you'll see a lot of these that you'll recognize. And these are from a lot of amazing designers. Let's see, click on one here for instance, and here's that Skull Coke can that I did. And basically, you just log into your account, you download it to your desktop, um, and uh, once you download the file and you drop it in your slicer, let's say Bamboo Studios is what I'm currently using, it explains here what you do. Once you, you drop the model in Bamboo Slicer on your desktop, you slice the model. Well, first off, it says you're printing at 100%. Um, you want always want 100% infill. You want your, with a layer height of 0.8 millimeters and a base layer of 0.16. These are basically the only three settings you have to change in your slicer. And then you slice the model. And then you come down on the right side 
once you're in Prusa, which I'll, I'll show you that on the screen, and I'll show you how you set all your layers. But a lot of amazing stuff here on printables. Um, stuff that people's already done to kind of give you a taste of what this is all about and see if this might be a program that you want to buy and, you know, create your own work. But, you know, like I say, tons of amazing work here. And then here's a program here, HughForge.com. It currently, it is only working with Windows 10 and 11 only. Um, but they have the personal license, which is $12. It's on sale. It's normally $25 USD. And then they have the limited commercial annual license, which is $30 instead of $50. On the commercial license, which is the one I purchased, if you design your own work, you're allowed to sell that work. Not the STLs, but the finished printed work for a limited time. And they have different licenses here, and it explains them in detail what they mean and how often you get updates. And at the time that I bought mine the other day, I received a credit from Polymaker a few days after I purchased it, and the credit was for 30 USD towards Polymaker filament. And this is only for US and Canada. How long this special will last, I don't know. But if you buy either one of these, for sure that I know that you'll get a credit from Polymaker. And it might say here, um, somewhere in the write-up on it. It says it does not work in parallels. Well, here it is. Polymaker coupon deal. It explains it right here. So basically, I paid $30 for the program for a year. Um, anything I make, my own original work, I'm allowed to sell that finished product only, and I got a credit from Polymaker, which basically refunded my complete purchase price. And here it tells about the program, shows a lot of samples. And they do have a YouTube page, you can go watch tutorials from Hugh Forge. It explains in great detail how you use the program and get everything set up. Okay, here I've got Hugh Forge open on my desktop. Just as an example to kind of give you an idea of what you do, I'll go up here to File, Open File, Project. There's three files included. Why their pictures aren't popping up, I don't know. These are built into the program. And there's an astronaut girl there. And uh, my computer's running kind of slow here. Anyway, here's a file that you imported on the right side, and here's the one we're working with on the left. The background has already been removed. Now, on some files that you may create or download, you might have to go into Microsoft Paint as an example to remove the background. There is a lot of other programs out there that remove background in files also. That way, when you import it, there will be no background. That is usually the best way to work with the files from what I've found. And then you have different filament brands here and colors. Now, I have different brands than what is listed here. I have Polymaker Ziltec, and I do have a little bit of Sun Lu. Um, I'm basically just working with what I have and not buying any specific colors, but you can uh, purchase specific colors. And right here on this uh, woman in the spacesuit here, on these sliders down here below, there's one, two, three, four, five different colors that they're working with here. Basically, you click on it, you can move your mouse up and down to chase a change of lighting or the colors on her, or you can use your mouse buttons, and you can simply click, as I'm going to click my mouse button up, and you can see that first slider is going up. Now I'll go to the second one, and I can take it up or down accordingly, and it's changing what I'm seeing. And you basically play with the settings and the amount of colors you want to use to try to recreate your image. You can change the detail size, the brightness. It's currently set on standard. Let's put on Bright Enhance 1. And as you can see, it lightened her up quite a bit. And basically, based on the colors you're using, this is what you're going to get on the red left side. And if you want to recreate the original image, that's why the picture is on the right. But you can kind of come through and you can play with different standards here. Um, I'm not sure what a lot of these are for. But if you go to the Hugh Forge website, which I'll link down below, you, he explains in great detail how you work with a lot of these things. A lot of it's trial and error, and, and you know, you've got to kind of figure out what works for you. And then if you want to change a color, let's say I want to use 
this turquoise here. I'll left click, hold it down, and I'll bring it down here, and I'll simply drop it on a color. And then it changes that right there. Now that turquoise is right here. So when I take my mouse arrows and I go up or down, see it's changing the model accordingly. And if you want to set filament or set color, let's see, update color. The color chart there. But there's, there's so much in here that you have to that you can learn. And as you can see, I've been busy for a week just printing things off of printables. But the program is a great price, like I say, at either $12 or $30. And then you get a credit from Polymaker if you live in the USA or Canada and you get your full, full money back, which, is, which they put towards filament. Um, they get a credit for, towards Polymaker filament from their website. But it's, it's an awesome program. And uh, let me jump into um, Bamboo Lab Studio real quick and I'll show you what that's looking like when I drop a model in there. Okay, I've got Bamboo Studio opened up. I went to my downloads folder and let me pull in a space man here. I'm just going to hold down my left button on the zip file. And I'm going to drag the file into Bamboo Studio, let it go. And then it will load it. And... There's our spaceman there. The colors are all black. Well, first off, I'll go up here to my four filaments. And currently, I have black, gray, red, and I believe silver here. All generic PLA picked. My layer height is 0.08. My first layer is 0.16. And my infill is that set at 100%. These are the only changes I've had to change on everything I've done so far. Now, based on which model you're going to be printing, you'll have to change your colors up here in Bamboo Lab Studio with, you know, with AMS. But the first thing we're going to do here, I'm just going to go with the colors I've got on the screen. One other thing I forgot to mention while editing here is that if you have an AMS with four colors, when it does a color change, it'll go from slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four. You can add more slots as if you had more AMS units, even though you don't. Because once it's done with slot one, it will not come back to slot one. It'll go to two, then three, then four. You simply add five, six, seven, and you put filament in each slot. For instance, slot five would be slot one again. I'd change the filament color. So once that color is done and your machine is on a different spool, you simply load a different color filament back in slot one. So once it goes through all four colors, when it goes to do the fifth color, it will pull from slot one again, if that makes any sense. And the same with slot six, which would be slot two. Once it's done, if you're watching your print while it's going, like I say, once it's moved past those slots, you can change to the next color in sequence after the fourth color if you need to. So you don't necessarily have to have two, two AMS units. So I hope that helps you out. One thing I wanted to mention. Let's see. Let me open up the PDF file for this so I know what colors they want, want us to use. Once you open up the PDF, it shows a model being imported there. And right here it says first layer swap at 8. And let's see your black go to... Um, so you slice the file, go to layer 8, up to that point you're black, and then you're going to your lighter color, and then the scepter at layer 17. So I'll move that out of the way, and slice the model. Let's see, I'm on the wrong screen. Here we go, slice the model. And that's going to take a few minutes to slice. And once you do, each layer will speed up. So we'll come right back when that's ready. Okay, we've got that done. Now you come over here to the slider on the left, where I've got my arrow. And the first swap is going to be at layer 8. So I'm going to slide this down to layer 8. Right there. Now I'm going to right-click on the plus. I'm going to left-click. I'm going to go to change filament. And then I'll come over to the second color, which is my gray. And then I will hit slice again. And as I said, if you download these models up printables, you can go with their recommended colors. 
Um, or if you make your own model, you can use whatever color you want. You know, whatever colors you might have on hand, or you can order more Polymaker filament because they have so many colors, it's just unbelievable. Uh, it's kind of overwhelming, they have so many colors. And uh, you can download specific colors for specific models. And that, once again, slicing. It's going to take us just a minute. Alrighty, okay, that's done. And now the next layer swap is going to be, it says at layer 8, next one will be at layer 13. So we'll take the slider to left click your mouse button and go up to 13. Then we right click on the plus, go to change filament, and then we go to the third color which is red. And then hit slice again, right here, slice plate. Alrighty, and that's done real quick. And the next layer is going to be 17. So we're going to slide this up, hold down your left mouse button once again. Go to 17, right click the plus, go to change filament, go to the last color which is white, and then hit slice plate. And that's going very fast. And there, that's the finished model. Now that's just based on some random colors. Those aren't the colors that are recommended for this model. And the purge tower, which is right here next to it, will only be the same height as the model. There's almost zero waste, you know, you're on your Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon with AMS or the P1P with AMS, whichever you're using. Or if you're simply slicing with a standard printer and you don't have a Bamboo Labs with AMS, you can do this on any printer. I forget the command. A lot of people out in the community know. I think you have to somewhere put the M600 command in, which will pause the printer. You do a layer change, and then it hit the resume button. Um, I'm not doing that today in this, but it can be done on any printer. You get beautiful work. And uh, that's about it, really. And then you just uh, load this up, and you print it. Probably take a few hours to print, and uh, it's pretty awesome. So let's jump over to the website for the, the, the creator. Okay, here we are on YouTube. I typed in Hugh Forge. And let's look at some of the things you come up with here. And Lost in Tech had a lot of great videos on this and going into great detail how to uh, work with this. So I suggest you subscribe to everybody in regards to Hugh Forge. Um, everybody has a lot of great information out there. You have 3D Corner, Mike Bot Entertainment, Jamal W, Maker Deck. Here's where Zombie Hedgehog and Pez Liz, which is Z and Z, were talking about. They were interviewing the creator in Hugh Forge. It was a great interview. That's completely what me got me sold on it. Is when I watch this. They also they stream on Twitch, and they've rebroadcasted this on YouTube. And I suggest you watch the whole thing. It's very entertaining. But like I say, there's a lot, of, a lot of people out there doing a lot of great work, and I'm so happy that I found this program. And I plan on making a lot of great stuff here. And there's Astronaut the Wolf, and then here's a mech here. This one looks a little, came out a little bit better than mine. So... But check out hueforge.com. Got a great deal. Like I say, if you live in the U.S. or Canada, for, for probably a limited time, I'm not really sure how long, you'll get a credit from Polymaker for your purchase price that you can apply towards filament if you order. But I hope this video helped you. I didn't go into great detail. I kind of touched on it, kind of showed you the quality, what you could get, where you could find more information. Um, looks like a great program, and I'm really blessed that I have found this, and I hope to uh, make some really awesome stuff on my Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon with Uforge. So, Uforge, if you happen to see this video, thank you very much. This is an awesome program, and uh, everybody have an awesome day. Please like, subscribe, and share, and let's make some awesome stuff. Please consider leaving me a comment down below. It helps me to bring you great content like this. Take care, everyone. Later.